With all the power that AIM Command Pro offers a producer, it is just as important to ensure operation is as simple as possible. The next several minutes are not meant to replace the operator's manual, but they are meant to serve as a simple guide to walk through some of the most common operational questions. Some of the topics we're going to cover in this section are the fundamentals of startup and shutdown of the system, changing pressures between the two presets, changing between the boom presets, initializing and turning on turn compensation, turning on overlap control, viewing and editing our coverage maps, and also knowing when and how to delete maps when we finish the field. To ensure consistent startup, try and do the same sequence every time. We'll turn the key and wait for the Pro 700 to boot up. Then we'll turn on the power switch that provides power and then we can actually power the ProView display up using the power key in the top right corner. Once we've turned the pump on, we can use the auto manual switch in the top left corner of the ProView display to enable automatic pressure control. AIM Command Pro has the same features as AIM Command, one of which is the ability to change pressures on the go and to have two preset pressures that you can toggle between. This is extremely useful in the field because as chemicals get increasingly more harsh, drift becomes more of a factor. One of the simplest ways to reduce drift is to reduce pressure. By spraying the headlands of a field at a lower pressure, you will get larger droplets that are less prone to drift. Once you get into a field where you would like better canopy penetration, turn the pressure up at the push of one button. It's simple, quick, and makes operators more efficient. Four boom presets are readily available at the bottom of the ProView display. To toggle between any of the four, the operator needs to simply hold the desired button down until the LED on the chosen button illuminates. Also, notice that a brief touch of the button will actually show the configuration that is saved to that button, but will not select it. To enable turn compensation, the operator simply needs to hold down the button. The operator will see the LED on the button illuminate notifying them that the turn compensation feature has been enabled. If any issues are present that will cause turn compensation to not function correctly, a series of visual and audible alarms will alert the operator. To enable overlap control, the operator simply needs to hold down the button. The operator will see the LED on the button illuminate notifying them that the overlap control feature has been enabled. If any issues are present that will cause overlap control to not function correctly, a series of visual and audible alarms will alert the operator. Coverage maps are an integral part of how AIM Command Pro functions. Anytime turn compensation or overlap control is enabled, a map is created of each nozzle. These maps are critical, but understanding how to use them is even more important. Anytime that a field is finished, we should shut off overlap and turn compensation. With these two features turned on, the maps will continuously run and AIM Command Pro and the ProView display will reach a finite limit where this will start to cause an issue. So we should always remember anytime we leave a field to turn off overlap and turn compensation. If the field is finished, we should delete the map. That way, only the active jobs are going to be in the display. If the operator leaves before the field is finished, these maps can be named to match a field name or a job name so they can be easily referenced and pulled up later. Remember, maintenance of maps is critical, as if these are not deleted on a timely basis, they can cause several issues. Displays slowing down and causing display malfunctions are often common when maps have not been deleted on a timely basis. This is a simple thing that any operator can do to ensure consistent quality operation of their system. AIM Command Pro is an outstanding technology. However, we need to understand how to operate it in order to extract all those benefits for every producer. Make sure, if you have any questions, to consult your operator's manual.